Greetings, fellow mentors. Welcome to this week's weekly encouragement. And I'm excited to share with you today. And I just want to take this weekly encouragement time to do so to invite you to the newest study that Setting Captives Free is launching called Living and Growing in the Gospel. And it's a study of 1 Corinthians. If you want to sink your roots down deep into God's Word, if you want to be built up and strengthened in your faith, then God has given us the way. It's through discipleship in studying God's Word and learning to apply it and live it out. And that's the very reason why we're writing this new course. And we're encouraging all mentors with Setting Captives Free to join us in this study. It takes just 10 minutes a day, literally. In fact, you can probably do it under 10 minutes a day, five days a week. The way to find the new course is to go to the Setting Captives Free website. There's a menu item on the top left. It's the hamburger icon. You click on that and you scroll to all core courses and then just scroll down to um, the discipleship courses and you'll see it there. It's called Living and Growing in the Gospel, a study of 1 Corinthians. And I hope that you'll join us. We're beginning this study together and it's discussing uh, 1 Corinthians. We'll be also using Marco Polo which is a way to interact around the study, living and growing in the gospel. And it is inspired by Colossians 2, 6 to 8, which says, So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith, as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. So the passage encourages us to live and grow in the gospel, to, to sink our roots down deep into Christ through study and prayer and involvement in your local church, interaction with others, to be built up and strengthened in the faith as you were taught. If you think about that phrase, as you were taught, it begs the question, what were you taught? What did Paul teach? And the answer, of course, is, the gospel, and how to apply it in every area of your life. Believers need to live and grow in the gospel. We, we've put faith in Jesus by believing in his death on the cross for our sins and his resurrection on the third day. Now we want to live and grow in the message of the cross to sink our roots deep into it, and to grow tall and strong in it. And what will be the result? We will overflow with thankfulness. Why? As you see your Savior becoming the man of sorrows, becoming your sin, becoming the Lamb of God, becoming the scapegoat that takes your sin away, the sight of that will fill you with sorrowful joy. As you hear how to apply the message of the cross to a particular sin struggle, you will have hope and understanding of how to change and will overflow with thankfulness for his bleeding and dying for you. As you see how Paul took the majority, much of the Old Testament passages and ran to the cross with them, you will overflow with thankfulness for God's word, for such a treasure, a rich treasure of stories that point to the cross and strengthen your faith. So come, let's study 1 Corinthians together. The course is open right now. You go to Setting Captives Free, click on the drop-down menu, click on All Core Courses, and scroll to Discipleship Courses. You'll see Living and Growing in the Gospel, a study of 1 Corinthians. I look forward to interacting with you, to hearing from you, to listening to you, to 
to hearing your encouragement and correction. And let's work through this study together, 1 Corinthians. Thank you, and I hope you have a good week.